welcome everyone so let's start today a new lesson that is introduction to biotechnology and this lesson uh, is for class 9 and this is a part 1 video of this lesson so what is biotechnology first of all biotechnology is a branch of biology or applied science that uses living organisms or living cells to develop or to produce new products for specific purpose okay so we will study the detail uh, in this lesson only about biotechnology okay so let's study let's start the lesson okay so here one question is there which is the smallest structural and functional unit of the body of living organism so what is it student it is a cell so cell is a basic structural and functional unit of the body which makes an organism okay and alongside you can observe the picture of a cell in which nucleus is there nucleolus nucleus and different cell organelles like mitochondria ribosome lysosomes are there okay so cell is a basic unit of the body and here we have the levels of organization so cell is a basic unit and then after the group of a cells come together to form a tissues and tissues uh, form organs specific organs like here heart is there and uh, from the different organs come together to form organ system and then complete organism is formed okay so this is the levels of organization cell tissue organ organ system then finally to organisms all right now let us first study about a tissue okay so uh, in the case of amoeba like unicellular organism all functions are performed by organelles of that single cell so we know amoeba is a unicellular it means only single cell is there in amoeba okay and uh, there are different organelles are there like nucleus cytoplasm cell mem uh, pseudopodia food vacuoles okay so all the function um, like from nutrition to excretion takes place within one single cell only and however most of the organisms are multicellular that means organism containing many cells okay and how are the various uh, process brought in their body now process like uh, nutrition uh, respiratory system uh, circulatory uh, excretion nervous system so all these are the process so how are the various process brought in their body so a group of cells come together so as to perform the various function of the body and are you familiar with the sequence like letters words sentence lessons and textbook okay we know this is a sequence this um, uh, all the sequence makes one textbook so similarly organization of the body of organisms follows a definite hierarchy that means cells to tissue tissue to organs organ to organ system then finally to organism okay so you have already studied cells and cell organelles in that hierarchy so what is a tissue so tissue is it is a group of a cells a group of a cells okay so a group of a cells having the same origin same structure and same function is called tissue like a, we can take an example of a heart okay so all the tissues of the heart are similar and they are related to circulatory system only so this is a tissue with the same origin same structure and same function all right so a group of a cells having the same origin same structure and same function is called as a tissue and millions of cells are present in the body of a multicellular organisms so here you can observe the picture of um, uh, different types of a cell like uh, neurons blood cells okay epithelial cell and different cell so these cells are divided into different groups and each group performs a definite function for example we can perform movements due to contraction uh, and relaxation of the muscles like uh, any movement related to body and conducting tissue in plants transport water and food to all its parts we, we, uh, we know that uh, in plants xylem and phloem tissues are there just to uh, transport the water and food all over the plant and all the functions of the body occur with full efficiency due to specific organization of cells and their division of work so this is all about tissue now let's see the types of a tissue so here we have types of a tissue in which two types are there simple tissue and complex tissue okay so what is a simple tissue so simple tissue is made up of only one types of a cells like uh, example is given like epithelial tissues of animals and meristematic tissues of 
plants okay and so epithelial tissues of animals these are the upper layers are like skin come okay contain no blood like skin cells and meristematic tissues of plants I mean they are these are responsible for growth and cell division of the plant and here next type is a complex tissue so these complex tissue are made up of a more than one type of a cell it is different types of a cell made the complex tissues okay so here we have examples like blood of animals animals like wbcs rbcs platelets okay blood cells of the animals and xylem and phloem of the plants now again i am repeating xylem and phloem are the tissues of the plant which transport the water and food material all over the plants Okay, so this is a, these are the two types of tissue: simple tissue and complex tissue. All right, so plants being sedentary, uh, sedentary means they remain so, uh, at only one place for longer time. Okay, so plants being sedentary, most of the tissues are of the type that give support, and there are dead cells in some tissues, and these do not need much attention. And growth of the plants occur in specific parts of their body where the tissues contain dividing cells. so in which the tissue contain dividing cells uh, in that part only the growth of a plant takes place in a specific part and uh, whereas in animals so as animals have to move from place to place in search of food shelter and partners their energy needs are greater than plants okay and most of the tissues of animals are made up of a living cells so in plants we have seen uh, in some part of the plant dead cells are there but in animals all the tissues and most of the tissues are made up of a living cells they perform one of the other functions and um, uniform growth occurs throughout the body of an animal and they do not have different dividing and non dividing tissues and this means that plants and animals have different types of a tissues to performing the necessary function all right now here we have the animal tissues okay so in the body of animal different organs come together to perform a specific function like on this screen you can observe the heart are there heart kidney uh, lungs intestine liver brain are there okay so different organs perform different function for uh, pro with proper uh, coordination okay and organs like the lungs and trachea now trachea it is a windpipe okay Uh, with the help of a contraction and relaxation of some muscles bring about the different function of a respiration and different tissues perform different functions in the organs accordingly tissues are classified into different types so according to their function no different functions the tissues are uh, divided into four main type so these are four main type tissue animal tissues so first is a epithelial tissue second is a connective tissue third one muscular tissue and fourth one is nervous tissue so student we will uh, study all this in detail in uh, later on in this lesson only okay so here types of a again type of animal tissue so here you can observe the in stomach we have uh, like smooth muscles tissue okay loose connective tissue uh, and nervous tissue blood cells columnar epithelium okay so all this we will study in detail later on in this lesson so these are columnar okay now do you know a uh, blood is also a type of a connective tissue and it circulates in uh, our body from one part to another and transport different materials for example it transports uh, oxygen and nutrients to all the cells in the body and similarly it transports waste material also so waste material generated all over the body to the kidney for excretion so student that's it for today's video i hope you all have understood this very simple concept of a tissue and next part all the uh, types of a different different types of a tissue we will study in our next session thank you